What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this competitive Milotic team. So, if you are excited for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, thank you to everybody who has supported the channel. So competitive Milotic has been taken over the meta as of recently. So I'm actually kind of glad I have a team right here to show it off. Because it's literally been all over the meta. Like probably like 33% of the teams I've been versing. Just competitive Milotic. Competitive Milotic just all over the place. But on this team right here we have our Assault Vest Duraludon right here. With a nice little coverage moveset with Flash Cannon. T-Bolt Dark Pulse and Draco Meteor for big stab damage. We got the Chan Lord to set up a Trick Room if we want to with Protect Trick Room. Shadow Ball and Heat Wave. It is a Flash Fire Shan Lord, so we can potentially swap them in if they're going for like a Fire Moose against my Extra or my Whimsicott. Swap that in, get a free swap, and kind of roll from there. We have this Toga Kiss with that Super Luck and Scope Buns. This has actually been going around the meta a little bit as well. So Scope Buns boosts your critical hit ratio or percentage, and Super Luck does the same exact thing. So with the both of them combined, you're going to get a lot more crits going on. This thing has Follow Me, Ally Switch, Dazzling Gleam for double hits, and Helping Hand for big damage. We have the Extra Life for Big Boy right here. We're going to be Dynamax him probably most most of the time here with high horsepower EQ, Iron Head, and Protect Mold Breaker, of course. Big damage with that Life Orb as well. Whimsicott in the bottom spot with Prankster and a Mental Herb with Seed Bomb, Tailwind, Charm, and Fake Tears. I really like Charm and Fake Tears because, like, Charm can kind of counteract, like, big Trick Room attack monsters like Rhyperior. Like, Rhyperior usually sets up in the Trick Room, but if you can Charm him, drop that special or drop the physical attack, you can just kind of own up to him. And then in the final spot, we have this Weakness Policy. My Lutic right here with Recover, Scald, Ice Beam, and Protect. We're going to probably be dyn her, Dynamaxing her as well, just as much as that extra. So those are going to be our two big Dynamax Pokemon. But guys, if you want to try this team out for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen. And let me know for question of the day, who is your favorite fossil Pokemon? Like, there's so many cool different fossil Pokemon. Like, I like Aerodactyl, and I like Cranidos as well. And the big Tyranno, like, Tyrannosaurus Rex from, what is it, X and Y? He's a big T-Rex. He looks cool. I forget his name, though. But guys, let's hop onto the ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this team. Like I said, Milotic is taking over the meta. We are versus one right now, probably competitive if I had to guess. But he also has a Toxic Croak on his team, which is very cool. Like, that is such a cool Pokemon, and you never see him on the rank ladder. He also has the Hydreigon, Togekiss, Wimscott, and that Heliobis. Who shall I lead? I'm definitely bringing in that uh, Milotic and the Extra Jolt, but I don't know if I should lead any of them. I don't know if I should lead any of those boys. He, I could see him leading the Wimscott. I think I'm going to go my own Wimscott into maybe Duraldon or Chandelure. Let's see, let's see. Raladon or Chandelure? Hmm. I think Chandelure's gonna be the call here. Or maybe Duraldon. Duraldon's a beast, dude. He's an absolute beast. Now, I'm gonna go Chandelure with that Focus Sash, rolling with Extra Drill and Milotic in the back end. I think we, we should be chilling this game. He doesn't really have any Intimidate Pokemon, right? Unless Toxic Croak learns Intimidate, but I don't believe he does. I do not believe he does. So that's why I don't really want to lead the Milotic. Like, you... Milotic's such a great lead, like, either way, but it's so much better when they have an Intimidate Pokemon, like an Arcanine, or when Incineroar comes in, Milotic's gonna be thrown out with that competitive, they're gonna drop its attack, which doesn't even matter, and then boost a special attack, it's just a free special attack boost, so it's very, very nice. But guys, if you wanna catch more content from me, head and link in the description below, you guys already know the deal. Jeans25 on Twitch, we stream 4 plus days every single week, come hang out, Season 3 is gonna be starting up, and we're gonna be crushing the rank ladder with all the new Pokemon, so definitely go down there, hit that follow button, turn on your notifications. Going up against Gas. Who is Gas leading? I have such a stuffy nose, guys. Such a stuffy nose. I don't know why. I don't even know why. But going up against Gas, he goes with that Wimscott. Good thing I did leave my Wimscott as well. And he goes into the Hydreigon. The Hydreigon as well. Um, could be going for a flamethrower against my Whimsy Whims. Um, my Chandelure, look at that. Shiny. Shiny. Both these guys are shiny. I love shiny Chandelure. Like, instead of the blue flames, it's it's like normal looking flames. And they just look dope. But we're going to tail one up. Could see this thing potentially Dynamaxing. I could Trick Room. I could Heat Wave. Uh, let me see this team's speed. I, I haven't really checked out the whole speed factor for this team yet. It's rather slow. No, we, Trick Room is just there if we need it. Our team's rather fast, but the Whimscott is uh, rather on the slower side. But it has Prankster, so it doesn't really matter too, too much. Everyone's hitting. I think I'm just going to drop a Heat Wave. Do some damage there, or I can just go for Stab Shadow Ball. But, nah, Heat Wave is definitely the better option. We're going to roll out with that and send out Tailwind. Probably matches Tailwind of his own. And I can see us do Dynamaxing, to be honest with you. I can totally see this dude Dynamaxing or just sending a Flamethrower over to my Women's Guy. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Yep, there it is. There's the Dynamax, dude. I think my What's Called will be chilling here. I think my Milotic will be beast in here. Send her out there with that Tailwind. We get rolling. This thing, luckily, this thing is a special attacker or I would have charmed it right off the bat and just dropped the special attack. Or it's a physical attack by two, but he's a special attacker. So he's chilling. He's lucky. He got lucky, dude. You're a lucky little biscuit. 
What's he going for? A taunt. That is totally fine. We're going for a heat wave anyway. We don't need the trick room, my dude. We don't need the trick room. He's going to set up a tailwind next turn. I might just swap. Might just swap. He's probably going to trigger my weakness policy. Not my weakness policy. My focus sash here. I'm going on my Hydreigon. Or not my Hydreigon. My Chandelure. Like, leave me alone. Leave me alone, my dude. We get the burn, though. That's big. But he's not a physical attacker. So it doesn't really help out as much as I want it to. But the Darkness is going to fly through. Trigger our sash. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. We have the sash down for that. Um, I could swap here. I could. But at the same time, I, I don't have to. Our special defense is going to drop, though. He's going to take out my Wimscott one shot with a, with a Drought. Um, I could just protect. Mm, what do I really want to do here? La, 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 la. I kind of want my one scout for later. I can see him going for a fire move. Am I right? I totally see him going for a fire move. Hmm. Do I swap into my monolithic and have this thing for later? I could be beasting. And just let the Chandelure go down. No, I say we just let both these Pokemon go down. Like, we have the Tailwind set up. I might, uh, I'm going to fake tier this Hydreigon here. But that's about it. But that's about it. Hmm. Ben, and actually, Victor's might not work on this. Dark. I'm just gonna go for it anyway, because we're dead anyway. And that's like our last move we can even do. And let's just drop another Heat Wave. Just do a little bit more damage over on the Hydreigon and take out the one Scott as well. Victor's pops, yeah, I knew it didn't work, but like Charm wasn't gonna do anything. Tailwind, we're not gonna set up, and they're just gonna outspeed us anyway, so. There's really no point. I just went for it. <laughs> heat Wave pops, there we go. Bye bye, Wimscott. It's good to know that we did outspeed that uh, Hydreigon. We got rid of that one Scott before we did go out, but he's gonna have one extra Tailwind turn, which is gonna be a little rough for us. Let's see what happens here. He's gonna go for the geyser. Go on my go on my boy. Go ahead, do it. Do it. On my channel. Thank you. Thanks a lot, my dude. We'll take that. We'll keep our Wimscott in here. Now I can bring out my Milo and Dynamax this thing in the rain. Come on, man. Come on. You're just giving it to us. He's just giving us to us. Hopefully you can trigger my weakness policy in some way. That'd be type nice. We got the burn over on you. We still have our tailwind. Um Do I dump on the Hydreigon with a max hailstorm? Could just drop a big ice boulder on him like yeah yeet. he has a toxic crow coming out as well um i'm gonna charm that thing that thing is definitely a physical attack we're charming the buns off that thing we got prankster so we will go first let's go charm here yeah yeet. and we're just gonna dynamax and go for that straight max hailstorm do i switch the weather or do i keep the same i say the hailstorm i say we go for the hailstorm on the hydrogon but once i get charmed on this toxic crow, it's not really gonna do much it's a physical attack we're gonna drop it by two if i can drop it by four i will totally do that i'll totally just drop it by four and let it go but Toxic Choke is good. He could be going for Toxic, which is scary. Which is scary if he puts it on my Milotic. But I think he might just go for like a Poison Jab over on my Whimsicott for super effective stab damage and take it out. But my Whimsicott will go first as it is Prankster. That's pretty big. Let's go Milotic. Get him. Get that Dragon, baby. Let's go. This is what we're here for. We're here to show you all. Competitive boy. And I hope he goes for a move that actually drops our stats because then our competitive is going to trigger. Which is dope. Go ahead. Who's going? Fake out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fake out me. Get out of here. We are big Dynamax boy. Charm popping out. Yeah. Minus two that. Minus two that, baby. Harshly dropping attack. And the darkness is going to pop through here. This actually works for us. This works very well for us because watch. We're going to eat this one up. Competitive is going to go down. He's going to drop our special defense and our competitive is going to trigger. Big boy. Big boy. Here it is. Competitive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Give me that attack boost. That special attack boost. Say bye bye to your Hydreigon. I'm thinking it's bye bye. I, I'm hoping though. Let's see. With that special attack boost one. Oh, so close. Can the burn and buff it take it out? Can the burn and buff it take it out? It's gonna be close. Let's see what happens here. When Scott gets the buff it. So I'd rather just uh, set the rain, I guess. Come on. Buff it takes some damage. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be enough. It's not gonna be enough, dude. Okay. I'm gonna have to go after this Toxic Croak here. This Croak of the Toxics. Actually, I'm just going to go after the Hydreigon with my uh, Seed Bomb. Actually, there's no point. We should just double into the uh, Toxic Room. But that thing's going to outspeed me as well. Do we still have a Tailwind up? Let me check my Tailwind status. We have one more turn in the Tailwind. Um, I'm just going to Charm this thing probably once again. Yeah, I'm just going to Charm it again. And I'm going to set the Rain here. I'm going to set the Rain as well. Get the Rain going. And my Myotic will be better once the Dynamax is over. Or it can do more damage with this third and final G-Max or D-Max move with the Max Geyser. No, with Jaw the Toxic Croak. Who are you going into, my dude? The Milo Tick. Ooh, wee! Seeing double Milo Tick. Good call by him. Going to the Milo. We do have Charm going out here. Remember Extra Joel, which um, I don't know how the Extra Joel is going to do. Oh, dude, are you kidding me? 
competitive. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, this is gonna be coming down. Flamethrower's coming out here. Ooh! Bye, Wimscott. All right, Wimscott's gone. It comes down to a 2v3 situation. Ooh. But we have one more turn on our Dynamax. Actually, it's gonna be 2v2 if we, because the Hydreigon is gonna go down here. We're gonna set the rain. We're gonna set the rain here. My extra. Uh, I think my extra should be able to outspeed. Oh, that's some nice damage. It's actually not bad damage. And it's not even in the rain. I'm gonna go after that Milotic. I'm gonna double into the Milotic. I mean, I could totally see a fake out coming from the Croak. So I might just protect my extra drill and kind of go from there. Tailwind's Peter out, so he's gonna have the speed advantage. We might just wanna protect here. I think we are gonna have to protect here and just go into a big. Uh, Another Max Geyser over on that Milotic. Toxic Croak is annoying. Or do we just dump on the Toxic Croak? Hmm. Mold Breaker. Yes, sir. I got to protect here. Got to protect. Protect. And I could just go for a Geyser here. I said we, I said we just go on the Toxic Croak. I said we do just go on the Toxic Croak. Because the Milotic's not going to be able to do too, too much. He's probably going to recover up. Or maybe Coil from there. But we are Special Attack here. Plus one on Special Attack board. If we just protect here, we're chilling. My extra will be able to outspeed next turn and get a nice uh, high horsepower off on it. Here we go. Protect. It's coming down to the wire, guys. I think Toxic Croak is so cool. Like, look at this little spike coming out of his fist. It's dope. Fake out's going to come. Like I said, we'll just block that one up. And then what's a Milotic going to do? Is Milotic going to recover? No, they're doubling in. Big play by me. Big protect. Let's get it. Max guys is going to fly through. Oh, are you kidding me? This thing's dry skin. Bruh. Bruh, this thing's dry skin. Are you serious, man? Oh, man, that kind of just fooled me up. I uh, will go for here, and then we'll go for a, uh, I guess we'll go for an Ice Beam. Try to get the Freeze or potential Burn on the Milo Tick. I said we just double into the Croak here. Can't go for a Water move. Relax, Jeans. <laughs> Let's go, extra outspeed, baby. Extra outspeeds. Oh, you take him out. Just dump on him. Say bye-bye. Yeah, Croak's gone. Get him out of here. Get him out. Go on. All right, now we're coming down to here. We're going to send the Ice Beam over to the Milotic. And he's probably going to take me out. It's going to come down to a 1v1 situation here. Oh, this, this could go on for days. Unless we freeze. Unless we freeze. No freeze, but we got a crit. Leave me alone. Oh, you kidding me? You're holding a berry. We are weak this possible, but they can't trigger it. That's our problem. Oh, my lord, lord, lord. No leftovers, though. Surf's coming in. Go ahead. Eat it, Extra Drill. Extra Drill's not eating. Bye, Extra Drill. Milotic's down to, like, one. I mean, it's good to know that my Milo Tick did out, it does out speed. So now I can drop a recover and kind of roll out from there. That did some big damage. That honestly did some big damage. We're going to recover up here. This is scary, guys. This is going to go the distance. This is going the distance. Battle number one. Get out of here. Recover. I have the speed advantage. Oh, my lord. Get out of my face. Milo Tick recovers up. He's going to go for another surf. I need you to miss or something. Leave me alone. Oh, we might die next turn. No! No! You didn't even trigger my weakness policy, this dude. I'm trying to get it this game. Recover. Leave me alone. I need to wait this rain out. <laughs> oh, I need him to miss. I think he's going to take me out this turn. That Surf's doing big damage over here. Doing big damage, but I think that's going to be game one as a loss for us. Yeah. Oh, GG to this guy. GG to this guy. Even if I was surviving, that match was going to go to the distance. Like, it was just going to be, like, recovers and all that. But 0-1 to start us off. We're going to try to hop back into these battles and try to get wins. Dang, what lost me that match right there was that dry skin on the Toxic Croak. If we would just put the Max Geyser over on the Milotic, that would have been big damage. And then would have taken out with the extra in the next turn. But it's all good. Hopping into battle number two. This guy's got a Hitmonlee. Ooh-wee. Hitmonlee, baby. Look at him. He looks dope. He's probably running a Trick Room squad. Probably with that Reuniclus and the uh, DV. Um, I could counter up his Trick Room. I could go for Alice, which is I could do lots of different things. Um, who do I really? How do I really want to play this one? How do I really want to play this one? I don't want to lead the the Doral down. Kinda, kinda don't. I could go into my Milo Tick and try to trigger that weakness policy. Uh, bum bum bum, because he could lead the Rotom, but I seriously think he's gonna go in DD. I think I'm gonna go with Doral down, get that stalwart going. Probably Toe Kiss in here. If I throw out a little bit of Tokus action, we have that ally switch, all that good stuff. We're going to bring the Milotic in the back end. Does he have an Intimidate Pokemon? Um, I don't think Hitmonlee learns it. I do not think he learns it. And then in the final spot, I can bring extra for big damage. I'm thinking of Skull. Or I can bring the Chandle. Hmm. 
I think I'm gonna bring the extra. I like extra with the life form. Such a good Pokemon. Very good, like all round Pokemon. You guys know that for a fact. He's just on most teams in the rank ladder. He just dominates. He goes out there and he does work. He has a speed, he has a big damage. He's just wonderful. He's just a wonderful mod. There we go. Second battle on Spike. Can we get a win? Can we get a win? We lost that one. That one was really close. I think we should have had that win. Like I said, if it wasn't for that dry skin, or if we would have just slid the attack over, we would have had that one in the bag. Let's get it. Bam, bam, bam. Ooh, hit my lead with the lead. A little bit of hit my lead. Uh, I might have to swap my Duraludon out here. Or I could go for an ally switch and take that thing out. Unless it's Sash. Unless it's going for Follow Me. I don't think he, I don't think he uh, knows that we're rolling out with a uh, with ally switch. So if we switch it and he goes for a, uh, an attack move. Was this thing Psychic Seeds? Wow, okay. Special defense boost there. Okay, okay. I see this dude. We go for a Pulse. Um, what do I really want to go for? Maybe just a flash can. Do a little bit of damage for him before we do swap out. And just roll out with the ally switch. We can show it right away. Oh, but this has going to be so nice. Now, I'm just going to go for a follow me. I'm going to go for a follow me. I can totally see him going into a follow me as well. So let's just uh, bring this one over. Because if he goes for that physical attack move, it's just, just going to go towards my uh, Togekiss. And I can follow me this all day. Let's see. Let's see. What are you doing, my dude? Himali looks dope. Look at his legs. They're all like... Looks like they're all wrapped up with like bands, but he's just a body with a face on. He's not, he doesn't even have a head. He's an arm, legs, and a, and a body. Look at him. <laughs> he looks dope, though. He looks dope. He looks like he'll give you the marking, so you don't want to mess with him. Give you a swift kick to the jaw, like, wah, wah, ah. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna D max and hit my lane. Probably try to go for a max up, but boost his attack. I mean, I think we can waste this one out, to be honest with you. I think we can waste this one out, but it's cool that we're seeing uh, him on Lee's Toxic Croaks on the rank ladder. Wait, the follow me is going to come up big. Helping hand's going to go over on you. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to drop a little bit of flash can action over on him. Try to drop a special defense, but it doesn't really work too well. I hardly ever get the special defense drop on the flash cannon. Oh, baby. This thing's rocking rock fall. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? This thing's dropping rocks on me. Get out of my face. Flash Cannon's gonna pop, and you know who we're going into. You know who we're going into. We're going into our extra drill. A main man extra drill. Wanna set that sandstorm for us? I'll help us out. Drop that special defense. Nope. Um, I might just swap it to the Milotic from there. I'll let it roll. Bam, bam, bam. Now he's gonna go after my Duraldon. Or do I go Milo? I think I'm gonna Dynamax this thing. I think I'm gonna Dynamax the extra drill here. Try to get rolling here. But he has followed me. Like, I, that's probably coming in. But the Max Quake is probably going to be our best bet. As it's Stab. Or we can go for a Steel Spike to get that defense boost. Mold Breaker popping. Let's get it. Uh, okay, I got to swap this thing. This thing has to get a swap. Into the Milotic. Milotic gets a swap. And I'm totally going to D-Max this thing. And try to get that defense boost. I'll just, I'll just send it out to Hitmonlee. Because if it slides over, it slides over. It's no big deal. But I'd rather do the damage on Hitmonlee. Round on. Get back here. Swapping out here. I think he's going to go for that Max Knuckle over on the, the Raladon. Well, now my Milo Tech. Let's see. Our boy's coming up. We should have the speed advantage. We should outspeed. I don't know. How fast is him on Lee? Can't be faster than my drill. Can't be faster than my drill, dude. My drill is cooking. Look at this dude. Get up there, boy. Who would have thought a mole would be one of the best Pokemon? They're just like, all right, all right, let's make a mole. And then they're like, okay, that's kind of ugly. Put steel on his head. Though. Everyone's like, oh, yeah, dude. I think that's outspeed. Pretty fast boy. I'm gonna go for the Max Knuckle over all my, ooh, my extra drill. Max drill does eat though. And no follow me comes out, which is type nice. I could just Max Guard next turn, which would be fine. I hit my lead's actually a pain, dude. It's actually a pain. You never see these things. Steel Spike coming out here. Do some nice damage to him. Boost our defense attack as well. Take him out. Thank you, extra drill. Bye, hit my lead. Okay, we're fine here. We get that defense boost, which is type nice. That hit my lead was a glass cannon. It was a glass cannon. It was doing big damage. But once we tapped it up, he was like, ah, ah, stop it, please. Like, you flicked him. He's like, no, no, leave me alone. <laughs> Extra gets that uh, health down there. Can we eat this? Yeah, we do eat this one up. And we will get, get off another shot here because we have the speed. We have the speedy boys. Milo Tick chilling here. Go ahead. Send out, like, an Intimidate Pokemon. I don't think he has one. <laughs> but who is your next mod? We have one. We have two more turns of D-Max. Probably one more because he will take us out. Unless he goes for a speedy, speedy Pokemon. Rotom here. Uh, ch 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 how do I go with this? Uh, I can see a follow me coming out here. I'm just going to drop a Quake. Potentially to boost our special defense. I'm just going to go for an Ice Beam. Mm. I really go for an Ice Beam. Uh, I guess I'll go for a Scald. I guess I'll go for a Scald. Potentially get the burn. 
And then do I steel spike? I think I'm just gonna max quake and take out this Ndidi. Because we cannot hit the Rotom without a steel spike, but I kind of want that special defense boost as the Rotom and the Ndidi both are special attackers. Then we still have our Duraldon. Like our Duraldon's chilling in the back end. He's gonna be type nice. We have T-Bolt on him. We have such a wide variety of coverage moves. I think we can pick up the win with this. And he's Assault Vested. And he's Assault Vested, my dudes. Go ahead, make a move. Make a move, my dude. I can't believe we haven't seen a follow me from the Indeed yet. There it, there it is, there it is. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. Yeah, we quaking on you, my dude. We quaking on you. Let's boost this special defense. Just in case the thunder is gonna come out here. It's gonna trigger our weakness policy. Oh, we do not take you out. Bruh, what you mean? What do you mean? T-Bolt's gotta come out here against us. That question is, do we eat up a T-Bolt? Are you serious, man? Actually, our extra drill, if you go for a T-Bolt, our extra drill will go first next turn and be able to do some work. Should be tight, nice. We are Mold Breaker. Why don't we go, well, even if you went for that. We are Mold Breaker. We should be able to just dump on this, uh, this, what's it called? This Rotom. Skull should be able to take, right? Show it to me. Yes, okay, Skull takes. We have Mold Breaker. I'm going to go for a Mech's Quake over on the Rotom and just dump on it. Unless it's, uh, unless it's Sash. Or what's his next Pokemon? That is my question. His next Pokemon is really going to decide the game, probably. If he's faster or has a first turn priority move, then he's, he might be sitting pretty. He might actually out the way. It's his own extra drill. Both Mold Breaker. Who is going to have the speed advantage? That's tough news. I'm dropping Scald on you. And I got a Quake. I have to Quake on this left side. I have to do it. Come on. Show me my extra drills getting the speed. I don't think it is. I think the other one's going to be faster. Come on, baby. We have speeds all set up. Are we jolly? He probably has the same exact stats. I don't know what's going to go down here. Come on, extra drill. Do him dirty. Do him dirty, my dude. If I get this max quick off, that'll be huge because this thing's plotted up on one. Oh, he protects. No way. No way. He protected. Yes. Say bye bye to the Rotom. He's gone, dude. Mole Breaker, super effective stab. That's going to be the game. He protected. Wow. I'm surprised he didn't go for an attack. I wonder who was going to outspeed there. Because I think that might have been like a big part of the game. Let's just say he takes out my extra drill. He probably Thunderbolts, does mean damage with that nasty plot on my uh, Milotic. Then it comes down to my Duraludon. So it would have been actually very, very close. But let's go, dude. Let's go. We should have this win right in the bag. Skull popping out. He's protected. He's protected, but we're chilling. He's probably gonna take out my Duraldon, but a nice big Scald's gonna come through. Nice Scaldy Scald. Send over another Scald here. Potentially pick up this win. I'm still kind of uh, not sure how this is gonna go down. Hopefully we can get the burn and we'll drop a Dark Pulse on him. Dark Pulse, but he's gonna outspeed, no flinch. Show me, just cancel the battle, dude. just cancel it. Thank you, I'm out of here, jeans. There it is. There it is. Battle is canceled. One and one with this team. We're going to hop into our third and final battle and try to get a winning record. Third and final battle on its way. He has the drought slash rain team here with a Mammoth Swine, Duraludon in the mix of that. How, do we, how are we going to play this one? Do we, we could trick him up. We could trick him up, but the drought's kind of scary if he goes for the drought. I mean, I could go Milotic. I could go Milotic right up in turn one. Kind of work out both ways here. But we're going to go Milotic here. Uh, and then we're gonna go Wimscott, try to get that speed up as well. He doesn't have a Tailwind Pokemon, unless that Pelper is rolling Tailwind, but I, I don't know if he is. Potentially, maybe, maybe not. We'll see, we'll see. And then, two more spots left. I gotta go with the extra drill. That extra drill works wonders. That extra drill works wonders in the Milotic extra drill. Um, do I go to Duraludon? I'm, I think, I'm thinking of going to Duraludon. That's a very special attacking team. And then with that Assault Vest, that, that could be big. That could be big. But yeah, let's go here. Let's go right off the rip. Hopefully, he does not go into the Drought team. I think I'd rather have him go into the rain team. I'm not too sure. I mean, Ludicolo is big dog. Against a Milotic with that stab grass moves, but that could trigger our weakness policy and work wonders for us. Let's see, let's see. If he goes to Drought, I think I might just Dynamax turn one, change the weather, and then roll from there. I could always fake tier the, the Charizard. I could always fake tier the Charizard. Which could be type nice. Pelper Ludicolo, okay. Um, I'm thinking we're going to see a Dynamax Ludicolo here. So I think I'm going to change the weather up and go into the hail. And drop a nice big hail ball on that thing. Yeah, I'm thinking we can drop the hail ball, set the hail, go into a tailwind and potentially outspeed next turn. He might just trigger our weakness policy. Go into the hailstorm on the Ludicolo. Kind of want him out of here. And then, do I fake tier or tailwind it? 
Hmm. Might fake you, I think. To be honest. Because chances are he's outspeeding me anyway. Um, nah, I'm gonna just tailwind. I'm gonna just tailwind it. I am just going to tailwind it. <laughs> We're gonna see a double D-Max? I don't know. I don't think so. This is mine. And yours should be 10 times faster than mine. I'm gonna change up the weather here. About to get out of here. Hopefully he goes for that nice little grass move like an energy ball. Triggers my weakness policy. We can just roll out from there. We can just roll out from there, my dudes. Look at that big 404 HP. Go ahead, trigger my weakness policy. We've been waiting for this one all day, man. Fake out. He's got to be going for a hurricane. <laughs> got to be going for a hurricane. That is life form. Not bad. Hurricane's got to pop here and take me out. Yep. Hey, that, that, that's fine. That's fine. We can do some big damage here. I kind of maybe should have saw that coming. Kind of maybe. I kind of thought he was going to Dynamax to drop like a max overgrowth on me. But we're chilling. We're chilling. Here goes the hailstorm. Gonna change up the weather here. A little bit of damage. Okay, okay. So no more rain for this dude. We got the hail going. And then what can I do from here? What can I do from here? I have my Duraldon. on. I think I might just roll out with my Duraldon. on. Doesn't really have too, too much to really take out my Duraldon. on. And he's assault vested as well. So yeah, let's go with the route on. We have lightning on him. We do a lot of work. And save the extra for the back end in case he has maybe the drought Pokemon. It can do work against his Duraldon, on his Mammo Swine. So my boy's coming in, gonna be coming in hot in the back end. Um, I could drop another hailstorm. Which is probably exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop a nice little T-bolt. Who do I drop a T-bolt on? Pelper or Pelper's gotta be oh no, Sash will be over. We'll take out the Pelper here then. Going for us, because the Buffett should be able to take out the Ludicolo after his turn. And he is Life Orb, so we'll kind of see what happens here. He might swap out the Pelper and try to get the rain going for later. He's very confused. We got him in the corners right here. My Dick standing above him. He's like, what's good? You want to play with me? I'll play with you, my dude. <laughs> well, I want this winning record. I want it. Tailwind's going to get rolling here, which is fine. I don't really see what the Ludicolo is going to do here. Hopefully, he triggers my policy. Energy ball. <gasps> Ooh wee! Ooh wee! Here we go! Here we go! <laughs> double kill here. This will be a nice little double kill action. Oh yeah, what you want, Ludicolo? What you want? Maybe I should have set the rain here. That would have been tight, nice. Get out of here, Pelper. Gone. Pelper, gone. Get out of here, Ludicolo. You're up next. Get out of here, both of you. Gone. But he still has his D Max. You gotta worry about that. I gotta worry about that. Hailstorm comes through. Oh, ye baby. I could max guard potentially recover next turn. It really depends what he has. Maybe I should have set the rain just in case. Just in case he, he has those drought mons. I'm hoping he has the Duraludon and the and the what's it called? The Mammoth Swine. That would be better for us because our extra drills in the back. We have the water for the Mammoth Swine. And we should be able to outspeed a Mammoth Swine as well. Mammoth Swine? Okay, show me the Duraludon as well. It's got to be the Duraludon. Or, the, or is it Charizard? It's the Duraludon. Cool, 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 cool. Good calls by me to bring in that extra drill. Extra just ran this team pretty well. Uh, Geyser to change up the weather over on the Mammo. Mm. I mean, Geyser will just take it out. Might just drop a Meteor. I'm just gonna... No, he's gonna have the speed advantage. Hmm. I mean, I think the Mammo Swan is gonna dump on me, do some work on me. No, I'm gonna just roll out into a Dark Pulse. I'm gonna just roll out into a Dark Pulse. He's gonna Dynamax to what's called the Duraldon. Potentially go for a Max Lightning. Can we eat up? That is the question. That is the scary question. I don't want this tailwind in. Maybe I should just guard it just to see what happens. I think he's thinking whether I'm going to guard or not. But he has to be Dynamaxing the, the round on. He's got to be Dynamaxing that thing. Oh, this is coming down to the wire, my dudes. He does not D-Max. He goes for the flinch on my round on and probably a T-Bolt. Critical hit on my mouth. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. It's double crit. What you mean? What's he going to go for here? Dragon Pulse. That is totally fine. That is totally fine. We'll get this water set up. It should be type nice. We eat that one up, and we'll get a Dark Pulse over here. This could potentially take out the what's it called? The Mammoth Swine, unless he's Sash. I don't really know. But nice little Dark Pulse there. Get him! Get him! Yeah, you, baby. Get him! Get him out of here! Get him going. Nice damage. Mammoth Swine gone. Let's go, dude. This match is over with. This match is totally over with. We have the rain going. We'll send a Scald here. And then we're just going to send a Draco Meteor onto this thing. This could die next, but I have my exit drill in the back for big stab ground damage, which is super effective. That's going to be big damage, and we're going to wrap up this game here. Go 2-1 with the scene. We probably should have went 3 or 3-0. Three oh. That dang dry skin in the beginning. That dang dry skin. I think Scald will do more as it's stab and we're in the rain. I'm going to drop a little Meteor action. Maybe I should just protect it. Let's see what happens here. It's got to be D-Max in order. Is he just not D-Max in this game? <laughs> 
But he waited this one out long. Like, why'd he go for the Dragon Pulse? Think it was gonna take me out? He should just went after me with the D-Max move. But what you want, my dude? Here it is. Here's the D-Max. I think we're sitting fine. I probably just jinxed myself. In all honesty. I probably just jinxed myself. I hope he's going after... He's gotta be going after my Doral now, right? I hope he goes for a Max Wormwind on my Doraldon and sets my competitive off. That would be type nice. That would be type nice. Let's see what happens. What are you going for? He should have the speed. For now, let's see what happens. Wormwind, go on my Doraldon, please. My Milotic, okay. Milotic does not eat. We gotta drink a Meteor off here. And then my boy comes through. Then my boy comes through. You better watch out. You better watch out, dude. Actually, it's coming through. Drink him, just gonna drop. How much damage are we doing with this? Oh, we just... Oh, I was gonna say, oh, we just KO. That's a crit, baby. That's what you get for double critting with the rock side. You get a crit back at you. And he eats a berry. What berry is this to rally on all of them? Is that a... Is that a guava by Papa? It's a citrus. The citrus. And then we're gonna bring out the extra. Um, It really depends on if the tailwind's out or not. Then I might protect. Mold Breaker. Mold Breaker. Is the tailwind over? Let's see. Let's see. Just one more turn. I think I might protect here. I'm gonna protect. Because I know we'll outspeed without Tailwind. We'll drop another Draco Meteor. If he goes after my extra drill, we win. If he doesn't, we win. <laughs> it's just like, but we can't miss an attack. That's the thing. We can't miss an attack. Battle was canceled. Let's go. Two and one with the scene. Lost the first one. Came back strong and went two in a row. Man, I wish we would win 3-0 with that team. That dang dry skin, man. That dry skin definitely won them the match. But competitive Milotic is awesome. Such a good Pokemon. I'm glad I did get to show him off for you guys, considering he's just running the meta. He's all over the place. It's a bulky Pokemon, and it can actually hit like a truck once that competitive kind of starts to get rolling up. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone. Thank you.